All right, all things sports and entertainment. Just got through watching Canelo Alvarez versus Edgar Berlanga. Stayed up to watch the fight. Almost forgot the fight was on, but uh, ended up watching the fight and um, started out. You could tell Canelo was trying to get a feel or whatever. And it just, it, Edgar Berlanga, he was clearly the bigger person, but it was Canelo during the majority of the stalking. Uh, chasing him down Berlanga he would either stand there to me he tried to stand in a phone booth and not do nothing he'd be constantly trying to counter or he got up against the ropes his trainers kept telling him stop being on the ropes man you got to stop being on the ropes but of course he wasn't listening which he ended up getting caught with a left hook third round right came down most people thought it was over but Berlanga he had he had a chin and he, he kept going that's how the majority of the fight went honestly Canelo chasing Berlanga until Later on in the second half of the fight towards the championship rounds, Canelo took a couple of rounds off. Berlanga picked up the pace, but again, he wasn't really pursuing Canelo. You waiting for Canelo to throw, to throw counters. And I don't understand what most of these fighters, I think they just glad to get a payday and be in the ring with Canelo because... I mean, Charlo did that, so on and so forth. Uh, they go in there with Canelo, and their biggest victory is to survive. That's it. To them, if they survive, they won. So, of course, uh, uh, it was a little dirty as well. You know, uh, Berlanga, he a dirty fighter. Canelo was being dirty. The referee, ironically, didn't take away a point. Now, I did see Berlanga catch Canelo a couple times, but Canelo was pretty much eating him. Canelo did get careless. Was that maybe the 10th or 11th round? He walked off, got hit, but... He, I mean, he got a chin or whatever, got a head, got a chin, and he was able to take that punch from Berlanga. But overall, of course, it was unanimous decision. I wasn't surprised. I don't think most people was. Did Canelo stop him? No, but they went back and forth. That's what people want to see. And, you know, clearly the fans that was there was happy. post fight interview, Canelo said that he fought a young guy. What they going to say? Jim Gray asked him, who he going to fight next? He talking about he going to take time with his family. You know how the politics go. Again, look, man. Did you fight a younger guy? Yeah, but we want to see David Benavidez. And I know a lot of Canelo Extreme fans going to thumbs down the video and, and defend Canelo. And while I like Canelo, why did, why you can't see the best fight? I don't want to see Berlanga. You know what I mean? And I think that especially if you want somebody to pay 80, 80 to 90 dollars to watch the fight, that we'll see the best fight the best. But that's what happens. You know, Canelo, since he's the AA side, he literally does what he wants. And the PBC, they they don't want to lose him, you know, to the point to where they're doing a PBC the zone collaborations now. You know, remember at one point they say that the networks can't get involved in the suits and all of that. But when it comes to Canelo, any, they can figure anything out with no questions asked. So, yeah, I mean, hey, Berlanga, I mean, he got a chin, man. But like I said, he was too busy. You in there just trying to be in the ring with Canelo. People are so starstruck by Canelo, man. Is there going to be one person that go in there and actually try to win the fight other than Bivol and Floyd Mayweather? You know, now there is, there is rumors coming out that. Canelo wants to fight Bivol if he beats uh, Benavidez. But my thing is, Canelo, well, if Benavidez beat Bivol, why don't you fight Benavidez? If you fought him, I ain't got no problem with you not fighting David Benavidez. But it's got to be one of the two, man. It's got to be, we need us fans, we need to see who is the best of the best of the best. You know, so, but... Like I said, Canelo, he can do whatever he want, pretty much. The fans going to let him do it. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about a quick post-fight interview. Tell me what y'all think.